Ask Reddit by Muted Action 5717. What's the stupidest animal and how has it survived not getting extinct? Peacocks. They are invasive to Florida and occupy several neighborhoods here in Miami. They simply have no concept of self-preservation, like standing in front of cars, letting people move lawn mowers in circles around them, like at least put some effort in. Peacocks invested all their stat points in being fuckable. Hamsters. They're prey animals through and through to the point where they blink with one eye. They sleep like they work 12 jobs. They eat their own poop. If you put them on a wheel they'll spin so fast they backflip off it. If you google how smart are hamsters the results will try their hardest to not say they are idiots. They are my absolute favorite animal. They also eat their young, which seems poorly suited for evolution. In 4th grade my best friend bought a hamster and no one realized it was pregnant. It had a litter of babies and she didn't know to separate them. So those babies had babies. Then the cannibalism started. She started with one pregnant hamster, at one point had up to 15 total, then she was down to one male at the end. It was a gruesome lesson for two 10 year old girls to learn, and it was hard to see that sole survivor as a cute fluffy guy after knowing he survived by being the most murdery one. My leopard gecko. There is a cricket in her enclosure that has been sitting there for a week now and she just doesn't want to eat it. I can't get it out cause that bastard hops like its life depends on it, so it just chills there. Here is a demonstration of an average leopard gecko tm name equals web 3 xcss and amp, utm term equals 1 and amp, utm content equals share button. They legit have zero brain cells. No they're so cute but after that video and the comments I also wanna know how they are still alive they don't even need enemies. How did they not all just starve to death already? Not stupid and I think they're cool but sloths, like, they can't escape from anybody how are they surviving lol. Just wait till you stumble into sloth territory and get charged at by some rutting sloths. They might not be fast but they can climb and swim and worst is they never stop coming. It's like that movie it follows. Domesticated turkeys are very stupid. They have survived only because they are delicious. Damn. Imagine a horror movie, where giant aliens invade earth and hunt down and eat humans, and humans themselves have to alter their diet, because they themselves have to remain tasty so that the aliens allow them to breed. Otherwise humanity would be wiped. That's the trick, to have just enough brain cells across the whole species to still be successful. No need to waste calories on extra brain power when dumb but fruitful works just as well. I'd nominate earthworms. They can tell light from dark, up from down and how humid their environment is, but beyond that, not all too much. Super successful, more total biomass than all vertebrates taken together, thousands of species, none of them intelligent. Without worms earth would turn into a rachis. They're really important. Sunfish. Like, how? There was a whole post a while back about how sunfish are actually pretty awesome and refutes the more famous post about how they suck. I lost the link to it years ago and damn too lazy to go searching for it. Since no one has said it yet, ducks. Just look at them buoyant. Quacking. They'd be even worse if they had no buoyancy. R1 orange brain cell. Primary survival technique, cuteness. What makes orange cats more distinctly stupid than other cats? The Kakapo. Largest species of parakeet, if I recall, looks like an oversized budger agar budgie, but I'm just a filthy casual. Flightless, therefore ground nesters. Its only defense mechanism is to play dead. And it's apparently delicious. Which worked great when the invasive species introduced into their lands were various feral predators like cats, rats, and ferrets. I believe it once roamed all of New Zealand, but is now isolated to a single island to the south. 
population was down to below 100 before the New Zealand government made Herculean efforts to save them, including getting rid of all predators from the island. Population now just above 200 in the wild and each one is tagged and named. Playing dead as a defense mechanism is hilarious. Pandas is literally useless. Giant pandas are useless. Red pandas are adorable. I'm surprised orange cats are still around. Pandas if not for the China's intervention they have easily be extinct. Just, like, a lot of species? Like axolotls? James Corden Sea cucumbers don't have a brain. Humans, give us time though, we will get there. I don't think we're as smart as we like to think we are. We're still killing each other over land, religion, beliefs and so on. We've been doing the same shit for thousands of years and we still haven't bloody learned. The only difference between then and now is that we've gotten far more efficient at it. My cats. They are just so dumb. My cat mule pour at my slipper, then jumps 3 feet into the air when it moves. He eats plastic then pukes it up days later. When he's done going potty, he will scratch at the litter box itself, trying to cover it up. Not the cat litter, but the box itself. For 5 minutes straight. Both cats will just stare into the fan, or run into walls. They meow at nothing and just stare intensely at the wall. My cat Haku will swing his head around and ends up smacking it on the table. Yesterday he was on the couch and I was petting him and I literally had to hold him up because he was halfway off the couch, with his front arms stretched straight out like he was freaking Superman. He will fall off the furniture when you pet him. It's shocking how many birds are stupid. Ostriches are dumb af which make them dangerous because they are just big and dumb. Which makes me wonder about dinosaurs if they were just giant big oafs that did dumb shit. Cats, even if they are my favorite animal. They run through the road when there are cars passing by, they climb up trees really high only to realize they can't get back down, they get in fights with each other for literally no reason. Sheep, they are naturally suicidal, only survived so long as they are bred otherwise they would go extinct. Sheep survive despite their honest to god best effort not to. Not an animal. But June bugs. I never understood how. They just fly until they crash. Wait, what? Are you implying that June bugs are not animals? Fainting goat. It's the funniest animal I've ever seen. If you scare it, it will stiffen up and tip over like it is dead. I don't know how it has survived. I just know breeders have bred it specifically to do this. Japanese land snails Most snails hide inside their hard shells until a threat of danger passes but this Japanese land snail will come out of their shells and throw their shells at their predators. Guinea pigs. They have no defense apart from being cute. This is my answer just based on anecdotal evidence. They don't exist in the wild anymore, they only exist now as food or pets. Because they are so stupid. For example, just this morning I was handing one a piece of lettuce. It dropped. The pig is continued searching my hand for it until I picked it up from right next to it and gave it to her. Guinea hens. Dumb as shit. I swear the only reason they are still around is because we like them, 